Hi everybody, it's Claire and London and welcome to episode 3. So this episode we'll be looking at um, my second week here which signifies a quarter of the way through my time here all together which is super weird um, but without further ado let's get into it. Alright so we're kicking things off with Sunday of last week. Um, I did my afternoon tea service with the intern group and it was pretty cool. It was super fancy, everything was super tasty, I ate way too much. The scones with the clotted cream were my favorites, but everything was super good. Yeah, it was fun. It was kind of a very British experience. <laughs> On my walk to the tube station after tea, um, I took some pictures of the walk and just the buildings in the area. Um, so here are some of those pictures. Um, it was kind of a cool area because there were these big like shopping centers and department stores sort of mixed in with these cool looking older um, uh, buildings with like columns and statues and I thought it was kind of interesting so. There were tons of musicians in the area, kind of like street musicians and people in the tube stations and whatnot. So here's a quick video of um, a guy singing in the Bond Street station um, on my way out uh, of that area. So. <laughs> Monday in my internship I got to work on this cool project. Um, they have these big crate boxes where the sides are on hinges so that they open up but they needed one side to be able to stay open so they uh, kind of gave me the job to figure out how to do that um, where it could open as easily as possible um, and where the actors had to do like the minimal amount of extra movements to get it to stay open. So um, in the morning I spent some time kind of sketching out ideas of the crate um, and kind of like what to do. Um, I'll put those up here. It'll be easier to see them that way. Um, and then the afternoon is when I sort of got building um, and this is kind of what I wound up working out. Um, and yeah, they seemed to like it, and it worked really well, so I'd say it was a success. Basically, it was just like you, you opened the hatch and then pulled out the triangular piece, and it was like a little... It, it worked. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> Big win on Monday. I got a seat on the Jubilee line at rush hour. Big deal. It's the most relaxing journey home ever. And Monday night I made a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Tuesday I got a nice long to-do list in the morning, um, which is great. I love to-do lists. Um, the one thing that I spent a lot of time working on from that list was this cover thing. Um, to go on top of one of those big crates. Um, so basically it, it was to turn it from like a crate into more of a platform. Um, and I don't have any pictures of that, but I do have just like the drawings, I guess. Um, so this was sort of from the underside. So it was like a frame that sat just a little lip on the edge. Um, of the crate and then a whole surface and then these are little extra supports. I would be able to explain it better if I had an actual picture but I'll just take one next week and, and show it to you in the next video. Wednesday was for checking off more of that to-do list. One of the items on the list was to make up uh, tech drawings or like drafting to give to our set builder. Um, so that he had something solid to go off of rather than just the scale model um, or the sketches from the designer. So 
that's what I got cracking on in the morning. Um, looked pretty good. I haven't done hand drafting in a while because um, this past school year I was working on like computer drafting with AutoCAD. Um, so that was kind of fun to get back into that a little bit. And then in the afternoon I just got to sit in on rehearsal for one of the cult shows. Um, and that was really interesting to kind of see how those rehearsals were being run. Um, and to watch the actors work because they're still fairly early on um, in the rehearsal process. So um, yeah, it was a lot of like figuring things out and yeah, watching people learn, which is cool. Thursday was another building day. Uh, I was reinforcing smaller crates all day, more of those crates made of like the flimsy wood. Um, one of them was made of particularly weak wood. I think it's because it was really old. Um, so I basically built an entirely new frame inside the crate. Um, and now I think it's safe to say that actors won't be falling through, but who knows really. Friday was kind of a cool day. I set out on a prop finding mission with my supervisor, aka the production stage manager. Um, we hopped on the tube and rode a little way across town um, and we were picking up these like folders and stuff so that we can set up an office scene. Um, so we each had these huge bags, um, went all the way over, filled them to the brim and then lugged them all back on the tube. So that was kind of a, an interesting adventure and we were kind of in a theater area. I honestly don't know where we were, um, but we passed by this pretty theater with lights on, so I took a picture of it, and yeah, that was cute. And then Friday afternoon was a newspaper making day, because um, we need a whole bunch of fake newspapers that are like 80s era um, for the cult shows, so it was a long afternoon of Photoshop. Um, and kind of slow goings, but it, yeah, it turned out pretty good and it's kind of fun. I did a lot of like research into London history to kind of get more factual stories to put in. Now, I think the most important thing to share about Friday is that I saw a dog on the tube. And I had a crazy ass breakfast for dinner. Poached eggs and a mini cheese omelet. It was good. It was tasty. Saturday, which was yesterday, I went shopping a little bit. Didn't buy anything. Um, mainly because it was raining really hard. Like I got on the tube and it was sunny and then I got off and it was raining. So I didn't want to stay out very long. <laughs> And then after I was done shopping without buying anything, uh, I went over to the Tower of London area um, because I hadn't been over there yet and I really like it because it's this like super history rich um, area of the city. The whole city's history rich, but whatever. Um, and so I had some nice strangers take my picture um, and then I took a lot of pictures over there and I plan on going back on a day when maybe there are less clouds or I don't know we'll see um, but I really like it over there so I will probably be talking about that more in other videos um, going back there um, so here's the picture of that and here's a picture of that and here's another picture of, well, that. And also, here's the interior of the London Bridge train station. Because it's pretty. Okie dokie, folks. That's all I have to say. So, keep your eye out for the next video. And leave a comment of, like, what you'd like me to talk about or show you or something, I don't know. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.